So the Denver Broncos have acquired Huh, looks like a charger? Huh, okay. I'm not sure if y'all heard that, but that thing was loud, but it didn't seem like it went anywhere. I can still see the taillights, but uh, okay. Anyway, so the Denver Broncos have acquired Russell Wilson in a trade with the Seattle Seahawks with the cost of, <laughs> they gave up two first round picks two second round picks and i believe what was it a fourth round pick or a fifth round pick it was one of them so a total of five picks it looks like all of them may be in 2022 so this upcoming draft along with three additional along with three players drew lock noah fant and what's the dude named calvin harris Charles Harris, Calvin Harris, or something like that. First of all, <laughs> Seattle won this trade in a landslide. I don't care how this turns out or whatever, but Seattle won this in a landslide. I, I, no, uh, <laughs> no. Seattle won this in a landslide. It's like, okay, Denver has. Mm, the most experienced quarterback in their division. But was it really worth giving up your whole future for, never mind the players, they, they're not really shit, but was it really worth giving up all those picks, your whole future for a 33-year-old quarterback? Was it really worth it? All I got to say is, thank God. Thank God. God, Howie Roseman did not make this move. Thank God Howie did not make this move. My honest opinion, this move, that, that it was stupid. It's my opinion. I don't know if a lot of you will agree. I know a lot of you are happy for the Broncos, but me, it you give up three players, even though they're not really shit really all like that, but you give up three players and five draft picks, your whole future, two first round picks, two, two second round picks. And I think it was a fourth round pick that they gave up. You gave up all of that for a 33 year old quarterback. I feel like the Broncos are like, Low-key Washington of the NFC or the AFC or whatever. Both of those teams, they fail in gathering quarterbacks or they, they never draft quarterbacks. They, they don't ever build properly. They really don't. They don't build properly. Russell Wilson is like... I know for a fact you guys got a lot of holes, but you give you gave up all those first and second round picks for one quarterback that's 33 years old. That may not even have as many years in his tank. But all I'm gonna say is you got a great you you upgraded a quarterback. Okay, congratulations, but was it really worth it? That's, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like Seattle won this in the landslide, to be honest with you. Seattle definitely won this in the landslide. Um, Seattle's not going to be shit this year, but it, it, it's not so much of this year. You got to think about the future. Seattle's going to be, they're going to be, they're going to have an exciting future ahead of them. They got how many, do, do they have, don't that mean they got three first round picks now? Or maybe they got two or maybe three. I don't know. They didn't say exactly what the first round picks, whether if it was 2022, 2023, 2024 or whatever. I don't know. But with them not showing the year, I'm going to assume it was all, all for the upcoming draft. So they're loaded. I mean, do I think they're going to use them all? I, I don't know. They're probably going to trade up, move back or whatever. Probably going to, you know, trade with some players. I don't know. 
you know, so with Seattle not having a quarterback now, I mean, well, they got Drew, <laughs> Drew Locke. I mean, that means what's going to, I mean, there, there's been talks about they, they could trade Tyler Lockett or, you know, some, there's a lot of talks about DK Metcalf, not so much from the team themselves, but a lot of people are saying, Seattle, oh, see, you know, team should pursue for DK Metcalf. I would love for DK Metcalf to come to Philly, but do I really see that happening? Not really. I mean, I know the Eagles could definitely pursue DK Metcalf if they really wanted to. They really, you know, they, it's like, it's like, it's like, you know, they missed out on the opportunity to get him. They totally missed out on the opportunity to get him. But does DK Metcalf really want to come to Philly? That's the question. Do they really want to come to Philly? After the fact that we missed out on him for a, a, a trash wide receiver that seems to be more useful as a lineman rather than catching the ball? Like, really? I don't know. I'd be surprised if he did come to Philly, but I, I just don't see that happening. Or if we were to give up a first-round pick or a second-round pick, that's going to be another one for Seattle. What? We have one of the greatest wide receiving cores, Argu or, or let's say arguably – at least in our division, up there with Dallas. I don't know. I know they got C.D. Lamb, but then again, Amari Cooper is also um, – this talk that Amari Cooper could, you know, be gone. But I'm trying to remember who, who Dallas has because my mind has been very rusty, you know, since I haven't really been talking too much Eagles recently, you know. A lot's been going on with real life. But um, I know they got it was Amari Cooper, CeeDee Lamb, uh Cedric. Is it Cedric Wilson? You know, I'm tripping right now. I can't remember. But uh who else, man? Um Can't remember at all. You know, I know they just franchised they they just uh tagged. They franchise tagged Dalton Schultz. I uh, I heard Dak Prescott, they restructured his contract. Um I don't know. But if DK Metcalf did land in Philly, it'd be a good debate in wide receiving cores. But at the same time, it's it's who throws to these guys in the end. And uh, I, I don't know. In the end, I mean, I don't think I don't think DK Metcalf is going to end up in Philly. So I'm not going to get my hopes up too high. You know, as much as I would love to see it, but I, I just don't know. I, I don't think he wants to come to Philly as much as I would love to. But anyway, um, but yeah. Russell Wilson is now in, well, 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 well let, let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. I don't think I added this in the video, but let me say this. The deal is done. I believe there has to be like a waivers or something like that, or it has to be Russell Wilson's. He might have the final say in this. So if he okays it, I guess it'll completely go through. If not, that's, I'm going to say that. Okay. Can't, can't forget that. Cannot forget that. I believe there has to be some kind of waivers or something pending or whatever, or it has to be Russell Wilson who had to have the final say. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I feel like the Broncos gave up way too much to get Russell Wilson. And honestly, I have this feeling that Russell Wilson isn't going to fit in Denver. But you know what? That's my opinion. What I'm going to say is I'm just happy. Thank God. You know what? I thank you, Denver, in the end. Thank you, Denver. Thank you. Thank you for making this move. If Russell Wilson does okay or whatever, but thank you because there will no longer be any more talks about the Eagles fan, Eagles supposedly pursuing Russell Wilson. Thank God that can come to an end now. Also, Aaron Rodgers, there's been talks that the Green Bay Packers and Aaron Rodgers had come to an agreement, I believe it was like four years, four, $150 million guaranteed, I believe that's what it is. All I'm going to say is, listen, I know Aaron Rodgers is what, 38 years old? In the end, he was day one with Green Bay. That's, 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 he's day one with Green Bay. It's, he's day one. You feel me? I could have said the same with Tom Brady with the Patriots, but he's with the Buccaneers, but... Aaron Rodgers, that was always the man with Green Bay. He was always the franchise with Green Bay. This is not a good comparison. I know it's, it's age difference or whatever, but Aaron Rodgers was day, is, has always been day one with Green Bay. So 
He was always the man, the face of Green Bay, you know, all that kind of stuff. So whatever we can say, whatever the money they was going to give him or whatever, I mean, listen, however I feel, that's it doesn't matter. I knew, I knew Aaron Rodgers wasn't going anywhere. I knew that. The fact that people will really think he would go to Denver or go to Philly is ridiculous. He was going to want to come to Philly, Aaron Rodgers. I don't even think he would have the strong mindset to handle that kind of criticism. Come on now. Green Bay does not even have the passion that we do. Come on now. I don't even think we've ever even heard a player that complains about Green Bay fans. Come on. Anyway, what else can we say? Uh, Mike Williams has, has come to a deal with the L.A. Chargers. Well, Mike Williams is off the uh, off the charts. Uh, <laughs> Calvin Ridley, he's he's been he's been suspended for the entire 2022 season, 2022 slash 2023 season for gambling. You know, with Atlanta, basically, I, I believe it was said he 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 forked up uh, fifteen hundred dollars in a bet with the Atlanta Falcons, and because of that, and because they don't allow gambling. You know, they don't allow their players to gamble, which supposedly ruins the integrity of football or whatever. I mean, I think it's bullshit how they they make that a rule or whatever. They make it a policy. But in the end, a lot of players knew. Players, especially Calvin really he himself confirmed that he knew he wasn't supposed to do that. And because he got caught, you know, now he's pretty much SOL for the entire 2022 season. He did it to himself. And the reason why I want to mention this is the reason why I'm mentioning all of these players is because the Eagles supposedly, you know, there was supposed to be talks about, you know, them supposedly come to the Eagles or whatever. I, I would have liked Calvin really come to Philly, but in the end, it is what it is. He made that dumb decision. That's a decision he's going to have to suffer now. Pretty much, he's going to be made an example. You feel me? So, um, yeah. More of the story, do not gamble if you're in the if you're in the NFL. Yeah, we can say, you know, it's bullshit, you know, especially because the NFL, they got they got an NFL team in Vegas, and I know they sponsor gambling sites like 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 DraftKings or you know um uh FanDuel, BetQL, uh what else? Um all other gambling sites. The NFL, you can say they're a bunch of hypocrites for doing that, but not allowing their, their, their players to gamble. It, but in the end, that's policy. If you're not supposed to do it, you shouldn't be doing it. Rules are rules. It is what it is. You get paid millions. Why are you gambling in the first place? You get paid millions, for the most part, to lose money. So if, if those are the rules, if you're not supposed to smoke weed, don't smoke weed. If you're not supposed to gamble, don't gamble. You know, if you're not supposed to take PEDs or whatever, don't take PEDs. Those are the rules. Especially make that kind of money. But that's me, though. That's me. If I'm getting paid a good amount of money, I'm going to stay in my lane. I'm going to do my job. That, that's just what it is. You feel me? But if I'm in a perfect position to take care of my family, to get a nice house, to live life and take care, you know, do all that kind of stuff, put my family in a better financial situation... You damn right. I'm going to stay in my lane. I'm going to follow rules and, you know, and that's that. You know, but these players don't really think like that. Is it bullshit for what they did? Yes, it is. But in the end, they knew they were doing that. Those are the rules. You got to follow this shit. We can sit here and say, oh, players were, you know, there be players that, that, that be domestic violence or whatever, but they don't suffer that kind of punishment that, you know, that Calvin really just suffered. Meanwhile, yeah, that is a fact. There, there are some crimes that have committed. They're not out the entire season. I mean, but then again, Ray Rice, he hasn't really, the N no NFL team has even looked in his direction since, you know, what he did to that girl in the elevator. You feel me? So, I don't know. There's Oh, you know what? I can't remember. There, there was another one. I think he was with Seattle. I'm trying to remember what team he was with. I'm trying to remember who he was with. But he he was dating. I think she was a. I think she was black, and he thought he was God or whatever. He he always he he was beating her and talking about how he thought she was dead and everything, all that type of shit, man. 
I don't know what happened to him. I don't know if he's still on the football team or they cut him or whatever. I don't know. But I, I, I don't know, man. You know, you know how it is. But all I'm going to say is, man, listen. It's unfortunate what happened to Calvin Ridley. But he said it to himself. You know, he knows he wasn't supposed to be gambling, especially after, you know, you know, the things, how it turned out with him and the Falcons. I don't know, man. Um, I'm just, I'm just going to say this, man. NFL players, look at Calvin Ridley, for example. Do not gamble. Don't gamble. Don't smoke weed. Don't do all that bullshit. Y'all can call me a sellout, call me whatever, man. Look. It is what it is. Don't fucking gamble. If you want to gamble, don't play on the NFL team. But that's that's me though. That's me though. That that's just me though. Anyway, man, what else can I say? Uh, Mike Williams have been signed. Calvin Ridley is suspended. Um, both of them is officially off the market. Well, Calvin Ridley for now, they're off the market. Um, DK Metcalf just talks about him. We can finally stop talking about Russell Wilson and Aaron Rodgers. Um, Deshaun Watson, please stop talking about Deshaun Watson. I do believe he is innocent until proven guilty. Yes, he is. A, he will be a huge upgrade to, to Jalen Hurts. But I'm not giving up multiple first round picks for the guy. Sorry, not sorry. I'm not doing it. I'm not giving up multiple first round picks for the guy. Just not going to happen. But that's just me. But I, I wouldn't I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. We're gonna be cheap. <laughs> uh, maybe, you, maybe one first round, second round pick, or whatever, whatever. But multiple, no. Especially we got all that situation going on. No. Eagles fans, y'all tripping. I take Jalen Hurts any, any, any day, any day. I do believe Deshaun Watson is innocent until proven guilty. I do believe that. Um. I'm not even tripping as far as him having over 20 different massage therapists or whatever. Honestly, I don't care. There are 32 teams in the NFL, most of them in different states. If, if they all can't follow you, at least I don't know where they all stand at. I don't know. Or maybe because not everyone it has an open schedule. That's why I at least try to look at it as, okay? Because I am giving him the benefit of the doubt. Because I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt, because I believe he's innocent until proven guilty, I don't want to believe that, you know, that he did do what he did until I see the evidence. That's why I'm going to keep that same energy and say, I don't really care that he has that many massage therapists. Maybe because not all of them is always available when he is. That's why he's got multiple. I don't know. But I'm just going to, I'm going to keep it at that. If it does turn out that he is, he did what he did, then to hell with him, his ass shouldn't be in the NFL, and, you know, that's that. But if it turns out he is, he is, he really is innocent. If it really does turn out he is innocent, I feel like all those females should be, should be, you know, charged. They should be locked up. They should all lose their license because there are females in this world that do lie about, you know, this and that. You feel me? And because they fail to come up with evidence themselves, text messages or video footage or whatever, I feel like if you're going to put somebody's career on the line, I feel like their, their career should also be on the line. But that's just me. Anyway, that's it about Deshaun Watson. Not until, not until you know, the, 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 the answer really does come out. I don't want to even look in that direction of, of Deshaun Watson. I believe he's innocent until proven guilty. And if I got the words mixed up, my mistake. Um, If he's guilty for what he did, to hell with him. I hope they wipe his face from the NFL. Or if he does turn out he's innocent, all right, cool. Those females should get charged. They should all lose their license. That's how I feel because females, too, they also do lie do I believe any of them is lying? I don't know. I don't know. I believe he's innocent until proven guilty. And I'm just going to keep it at that. Anyway, on to the next one. Um, I don't think there's actually I don't think there's any else to talk about. But Jalen Hurts, as long as he's here in Philadelphia, 
That is my quarterback. Am I, am I sold on the guy? No. Do I think he's a great quarterback? No. But as long as he's here and because how he said that, you know, he is the starter, that's who, that's who I'm going to rock with. What if it's him? What if it's Gardner Minshew? Whoever it is, okay? Whoever it is, that's who I'm going to rock with. But if we're going to go sign a quarterback or draft a quarterback, I, I don't think I don't think we're going to draft a quarterback. I, I don't think any of these quarterbacks is worth, you know, drafting in the first round. But if we're going to go for any quarterback, just please let it be an upgrade. Put us in a winning situation, especially that's not going to cost too much, okay? We got way more problems than – we got way too many problems with this team. Linebackers, corner if Steven Nelson does walk, safety if Rodney McLeod does walk and Anthony Harris walks, defensive lineman, okay, more preferably edge rusher. There's way too many problems, and, and Deshaun Watson is not going to fix it. And I've said this for the hundredth time, but that's all I'm going to say. I'm knowing about 20 – 21 minutes in or so but that's all i'm pretty much going to say so um and for someone that was saying oh we need to show watson no speak for yourself i don't we don't need to show watson we don't i'm not gonna i'm not in any rush i, I want to push for it but if it does happen all i'm gonna say is please don't let it be multiple first round picks anyway um i'm a bit behind once again but hey I said what I said. Moves have been dealt. And, uh, yeah, let me know how you feel in the comments below. It's your man, that you check out or not here. It is always fly equals fly. I'm happy where we at. And I want to say shout out to Howie Roseman for not get, for not put, making that push. You feel me? For Aaron Rodgers, for Russell Wilson. Shout out to Howie Roseman. He ain't no sucker. He may have made some question, questionable moves, but he ain't no sucker. Anyway, that's all I got to say. Until next time, it is Fly Eagles Fly. I'm out. Hit that like button. Subscribe with the bell. It would be greatly appreciated. All right, y'all. I'm out of here. Go Birds.